Well, David, Troy Firebird has yet to win at Nottingham in the Derby. He's been second in each round so far and running with uh, great credit. What have you made of him at the track? Oh, he's improved with each run. I'm really pleased with the way he's starting his races. Um, before the Derby, my main concern was would he see the 500 out? At the moment, you know, he's, he's doing the opposite to what I expected. He's staying on a lot stronger. Um, just needs to slightly improve on his early pace. Um, which I think I know is in the locker somewhere. Um, no, I'm, I'm delighted with the way. He, I mean, after not after Yarmouth, the way he was running the bends there because he didn't handle that track at all. Um, I, I was, you know, his first time round run for uh, um, Nottingham. I was a bit concerned how he'd run the second bend, but he's, he's getting better and better at it. And you mentioned you'd like to see improvement in his sectionals, but he is breaking five seconds each time, and also he's very consistent from the boxes. Yeah, he is. I mean, I've, I actually thought in the quarterfinals he slightly missed it um, and he, but he, you know I suppose he is up against the, the cream at the moment and when he when we brought him back out of lockdown at Romford he was blistering pace to the corner so um, you know he, he's just got, as he's got older and stronger he's matured a lot more he looks to be a very natural track six runner. You know he's always going to get his draw out wide, pretty much. And what I've liked about him is when there is space at the bend, where all the dog teams come together at Nottingham, he, he'll he move in. But if there isn't space there, if there's yeah. dogs there, he keeps himself safe. Yeah, I think he, he's, he's a clever tracker. I mean, he, he showed that at Yarmouth um, for some of the positions he managed to get himself out of. Um, just proved how, what a good tracker he was. Um, you know, sometimes your heart will be in your mouth going into the bend, what's going to happen, um, but somehow he manages it to come out of it unscathed so far. And as you said, he's one of the strongest finishing dogs left in the competition, if not the strongest finishing dog in the competition now, and you were just telling me that he handles his races really well, so while some of the, his competition might perhaps be tiring as the competition goes on further, he's coming through them well. Well, the one thing we've noticed about him, you know, in recent weeks is within five minutes of a, of a race, He's ready to go again. He's not panting. He's, re he's, he's got such a great recovery rate, um, which is a true sign of how fit you are. You know, so um, I'm, I'm really pleased with the way he's coming out of it. I guess the one thing we could say is his last couple of times, perhaps to live with the best in the derby, he needs to find a bit of time. But he did clock a 29.56 trial before the competition. Is that in his locker now, do you think? I think so. He just needs to get to the front a little bit quicker. And um, I think if he, if he was... If he was to get a clear run, especially sitting behind anything early enough, he'd uh, yeah, he's, he's got that he's got that run in him. And you're confident he's improving at the moment. Oh, yeah, he's definitely improving. You know, he's he's a he's a dog that thrives on confidence. The more he goes to a track, the more confident he is. Um, when he first goes to a new venue, you can tell he's a little bit timid, as you noticed um, when he when we first brought him over. Um, but he is, you know, he, he is a confident dog.